What's up everyone, Matt here. So, a very common question I'll see in the community or from people that I'm helping to learn the platform is, when should I use that this row thing inside of a select formula? Well, I'm gonna try and explain that today. Thanks for joining, let's get to it. So here's the key to understanding that little this row element inside of select formulas. It's all about context. And I don't mean context as in the formula context, I mean context in the sense of where are you trying to pull data from and where does the formula live? Most times it's easiest to understand these things by using a practical example. So let's use the example of an employees table and a time records table. Let's say I have an employees table here, and I have a time records table here, and I want to construct a select formula that will pull all of the time records for that employee. Now let's say that this chair is the virtual column that will contain the select formula that I'm building, and this chair represents the column that holds the ID of the employee, the column that's marked as the key. And in the time records table, this chair represents the column where you select the employee that's making the time record, the employee reference. In your select formula on the employees table, you begin by specifying the table that you wish to pull data from. This establishes the context of your select formula. It may live on the employees table, but it's looking for things in the time records table. That is the context. So in your formula, when you want to use data from the employees table, you need some way to say, pull the value from, air quotes, this column in the employee table and you do that with this row. If your formula lives on the employees table, then when you specify something using this row, you're saying you want to use a column in the employees table. All other columns that are included in your formula will be considered to be columns from the time records table because that's the context. And that's how this row works. So when I'm building this select formula, I need to specify the employee ID, the key field in the employee table, and the employee reference link in the time records table. So the context is the time records table. So I just state, I just enter the time records employee link just like normal. It's when I want to use something from the place, the context from where the formula lives on the employees table. I want, I need to pull out the employee ID. And so I'll use this row on that part. And that lets me, that tells the system to pull the ID from the employees table and match it to the employee reference link in the time records table. And when they match, you get that record. Hey, I want to thank you for sticking around this long. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you want to show your appreciation, give the video a like, maybe consider subscribing. I also have a Patreon page and there's all kinds of goodies over there. You can go check it out. Link in the description. Appreciate it. See you in the community.